Yo, peace, love, and happiness. Sending you lots of love, so take it all, embrace it all, embody it all, and create your life because all that you truly desire is manifesting now. It's Monday. It's fucking snowing out in Canada. You know what snow means? High fill up. Doesn't mean high fill up. It means winter is coming. Winter is here. I live in Canada, Ontario, and I struggle from sad. What's sad? Seasonal affective disorder, meaning... We get sad when the season changes. People like me sometimes, you know, we get a little depressed, lethargic, a little low energy just because like the, like it messes with your circadian rhythm. Yeah, like your wake sleep cycle, uh, the light because you wake up. It's uh, not the brightest. We don't get much sun and it's dark around 5 p.m. now, especially with the time change when it goes back or forward or whatever. Right. So it, it fucks with my my mood. It fucks with my emotions. It fucks with like when I wake up, when I sleep. And I can either get down and out about it. I can be like, oh, it's fine. I'm just going to be depressed. I'm going to, eh, eh, I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything, which I was. Last uh, winter, I especially was like that. I was smoking a little bit of weed. I was watching Netflix and eating all day. And uh, eating adds weight. <laughs> and I've noticed that. So now I use this to my benefit, okay? Well, I'm catching up on sleep. I'm getting a little bit of sleep, resting, recharging. I still go outside. I can make the best, of it. oh, snow. I can go on a nature adventure in the snow. Okay, I'm eating a little more, so why not eat a little more healthier foods when I overeat or emotionally eat in the winter and uh, bulk? Because that's what I'm doing. I'm working out more, working out longer, so I'm bulking. I'm going to gain a little bit of weight, and then I'm going to cut when it comes uh, springtime, right? So you can make the benefit of these this seasonal affective disorder. And what's helped me kind of get more in like a state of flow and a state of like, okay, I can still be productive and get shit done even if I feel a little down and out, down under the weather, you know? Well, I want to get one of those like happy lights or an infrared light, but uh, they, they cost a little much at the moment, you know? So I'll try and get as much natural light as you can. Yes, you wake up and you get light. Sometimes it's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to get out of bed and go outside right away and get light. But like force yourself to do it, but don't get down and like, don't be like, oh, I didn't do it, okay? That's another thing. You don't want to like force too much or drain your energy too much or get... Uh, like you don't do something, don't shit on yourself. Don't be like you fucking, you didn't do this. Now, now your whole day's ruined. Blah blah. No, just allow it to happen. Yes, you gotta have that discipline to a certain degree. But if you're, it's like hard to do that sometimes. You know, like I struggle with this a lot. This year, it's been a little bit better. I made sure I'm more prepared. I started getting a more momentum, like product productivity flow. So I'm getting more done. I wake up, I work out right away for the most part. It takes me a little bit to get out of bed. But instead of going on my phone so much in the morning, I'll just visualize, think how my day is going to go. And then do my workout and kind of go with the flow. You know, move. You got to move. If you're sitting all day, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. If you're just watching something on Netflix, you're just chilling. You know, and that's cool once in a while. It's cool to like use these certain things just to relax, to decompress. But when it comes to all the time it's not the best you know but you can learn from it of course next year <laughs> um and uh working out that for sure helps it helps reduce that like cortisol level and reduce your stress and anxiety by getting some type of activity and you feel good you get your workout in your run your walk even even walk in nature enjoy the nature have some inner peace breathe the fresh oxygen in when you're outside and get some type of like blood flowing through your body yoga anything that'll help you know and I like was a few years ago when I was drinking a lot, smoking a lot, partying, chasing girls, chasing women, whatever. I uh, I still had this, you know, it's like I could still go and party, but I'm in my head. I like more depressed because of the weather. Yes, I'm I was depressed all year round, but the winter came around and it's a little bit easier to go out because you go to party. It's still it's still going to fuck with you. You know, if you're dealing with this. So do what you can to keep going because it's not that long especially out here in Canada it's only a few months you know I, I'm still going swimming and that's what helps me or I'm jumping in the snow I'm finding ways I can get creative to move through these emotions instead of just like getting stuck in this sad sad state uh I want to get vitamin d soon because like sun sun's good sun's like the number one source of getting your vitamin d vitamin c whatever but you, we still lack it if there's no fucking sun, you know, the bright, yes, it helps, but there's no sun today. There's clouds, there's snow everywhere. I'm not getting that much vitamin D. So I'm going to invest. It's not an expense. It's an investment for my health, getting a little bit vitamin D supplement, get that in me so I can feel brighter, you know? And, uh, hi buddy. He's sorry. He, he loves me sometimes. And, uh, 
just like keep going because ultimately we all are dealt certain things in life whether it be sad whether it be you're depressed suicidal stressed anxiety uh you don't have a leg you know like anything we can like utilize these adversities and catalyze them alchemize them into a more positive experience for us and other people that's why i share this because i get fucked up like i'm saying i get sad in this time of year but i'm gonna keep going that's just all you can do keep going in a direction up down left right forward back you're gonna keep moving you know you are and i believe that you can because you've got it you have that will to keep going you have that drive and ambition in you it's just gonna take a little bit more time a little bit of patience four months to be exact <laughs> once it's not even winter so once the uh winter solstice december 21st then you got no three months three months right three six nine yeah three months of winter it's not that bad you got it you know and even if you have to go on vacation if you can leave the country which i can't but if you can then do it be social do something that'll get you out of the house or even have friends over you know like you've got this keep going because this too shall pass as cliche as it is it's it's gonna get better for you especially come the heat just think of the heat you know so nice right <laughs> anyways if uh if you struggle with seasonal affective disorder struggle as in not like it's like you're a victim but struggle as in you're dealing with it you have like it's you, you've been dealt that card at this moment and you're gonna make it through then give the video a thumbs up because you will make it through all right you will make it through if you want to comment down below let me know how you get through seasonal affective disorder what you're going through how your feelings emotions your experiences are right now i want to hear about it and if you want to subscribe click click thank you so much for tuning into this video don't be sad be happy <laughs> so easy he's got you fuck you no all right i'm scott Vlad. peace